The second stage of love that the scholars that the scholars talk about, with respect to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, they say that uh, neediness, al faqr is also a stage of love for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Now, what does Allah Subhanahu wa Taala say in the Quran? Allah, is, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, He says, "Wallahu al ghani right? Allah is the ghani. In other words. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need of his creation. He is free of need and want. وَأَنْتُمُ الْفُقَرَاءَ And you are the ones who are destitute, impoverished. You're the, you're the fuqara, right? So you are those ones. Allah defined us. Allah defined us as fuqara. Another ayah Allah says, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ أَنْتُمُ الْفُقَرَاءَ أَنْتُمُ الْفُقَرَاءَ You are the fuqara. Wallahu. Who al Ghani al Hamid by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Antum al Fukara'u ila Allah." You are the ones who are impoverished to Allah. So acknowledging your neediness, understanding your neediness, understanding the nature of your relationship with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the fact that you need Him, the fact that that there'll never be any notion or state or situation in your life where you will ever be free in terms of needing Allah Azza wa Jal. When you come to that realization, it's a stage of love. So when, so when a person forgets, and when a person is forgetful, this realization of neediness is cloaked. A person sometimes forgets, and that cloaks again the fitra, it cloaks, cloaks the light, it veils the light. A person sort of misses that reality and needs to be reminded, and hence, Reminding a person is beneficial for the believers, as Allah, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions. But you know, instantaneously we see that the fact that Allah says, "You are the fuqara, you are the ones who are in need to Allah," understanding that neediness. And one thing that we spoke about last time, we said that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He He invited us human beings to obey Him, and in that is a blessed gift. The fact that He's invited us. To have the honor to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and in, in, that is a great blessing that is missed by so many people. And if we're cognizant of this, and we realize just the blessing in that one single favor alone, then that is a state of love. That is a state and stage of loving Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. To say Alhamdulillah, you invited me to worship you, and you fall in love with that. But when you forget. It takes you away from that realization. So neediness, al-fakr, the scholars say, is a state of love, is a stage of love. If you can go through that state and you can understand, inni faqir, inni muhtajun, ilayki Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, without you, I, I don't exist, I can't exist, I can't taste existence, I can't enjoy the moments in this world that are connected to you. Um, and these worlds are but moments. This world is but moments. The beautiful moments you have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You never forget them, right? Your akhirah is, is, is outlaid before you based on these finite moments. And al-fakr and neediness, needing Allah, subhanAllah, going through that in one's mind and, and the reality of one's being, knowing that you are faqir, the scholars have said it is a stage of love. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the scholars they talk about the stages of love.